Hello guys and girls. I hope everyone <clears throat> is having a great, fantastic weekend. It's a beautiful weekend here in Arkansas. Yes, that's right. I am in Arkansas right now. Uh, spent yesterday over in Columbus, Ohio. Man, what a great day we had over there. Uh, spent a, a lot of time with Chris and of course, uh, uh, Dave that runs the show there, the National Fishing Expo of Columbus. They run four of those, uh, one down in Texas, Cincinnati, and I'm not sure where they're all, all of them are. I can't remember, but they run four of those big national fishing expos. So one comes near you, be sure to check it out because it's a really fantastic show. Uh, spent a lot of time in the Ranger booth, uh, tracker booth. Stood, stood for a long time beside a brand new 521 Ranger R. Uh, 521R Ranger. <laughs> and uh, uh, the boat, just like I have right now, that's over at uh, door 111 at the Bass Pro Shop uh, uh, headquarters. Uh, rigged and ready to be wrapped just waiting to be wrapped right now i think they're going to do that either this coming week or the following week and we'll get that back over there. we've got to get our garments put on there which jamie does that at our jimmy houston marine store there on lake 10 killer and um, i'm waiting to get an uh, an extra extra transducer i'm going to be rigging two transducers on that two life scope forward facing transducers on the front of that boat i'm waiting for garmin to send me the second one right now but uh but i'll show you how i do that i'll run a walk through on that boat as soon as i get it and uh you know it still might be a couple two or three weeks before i have it i was hoping to have that boat um to take down to florida at the end of the month and uh fish uh, northern florida and south georgia for two three days down there have some fun down there and shoot some television shows do some social media uh videos that we could uh, we could share with y'all it should be great fishing down there i've been watching the weather in that part of the country 75 80 degrees just about every day so uh i've been looking out 15 days in advance and it, if anything it's getting a little bit better down there i saw one day in there the high was about 60 but uh we may catch a cold front when we get down there and that really affects florida bass we may not but we had a great time at columbus i want to thank each and every one of you that come out uh when my first seminar we had over 500 people there the fans and the whole area was completely packed and people standing up even and uh i asked how many were on social media and over half the people raised their hand so that's pretty amazing for out of five or six hundred people for uh, 250 or 300 of them to be on our, our facebook uh, page or one of our three youtube channels uh, a lot of them weren't aware that we had broken the fishing off of the uh, uh, main channel, our original YouTube channel, which started back in February of 2019. By the way, we're coming up. We've been on there uh, three full years now, 19, 20, 21. Uh, let's see, to, uh, to 20, to 21, to 22, to 23. I guess this will be uh, three complete years, or this is the fourth year or what? I don't know how to figure that. I have to figure that up a little bit. 19 to 20 is one. Uh, February 21 would be two. February 21 would be three full years. It'd be four full years. Four full years since we started that uh, uh, YouTube channel over there. And uh, we've changed that channel over, obviously, as uh, most of you know, to Jimmy and Chris Houston's Twin Eagle Ranch channel. Move the fishing over to its own channel where we can get more fishing videos on for y'all that really like those fishing videos. Many of y'all on both both the channels as well as the Catch a Better Life channel. A lot of people I talked to yesterday in uh, Columbus, Ohio were. But thank y'all in Columbus, Ohio, all of the, you that came out and visited me yesterday. It was just fantastic. I was there from about an hour before the show opened till uh, about an hour after the show opened. And it was a tremendous show. I like to get around and visit with all the exhibitors. I did get to visit with a few, but not many just because we just had a lot of people there that, that we were visiting with and spending time with. And uh, we wanted to spend some time in the Ranger and Tracker booths, in which we did, but it seemed like that the lines never ended. And so uh, we just had a great time. I mean, we just had a sensational time. I love uh, getting out and meeting with everybody and, and and we, we just had a we had a ball doing it. Thank you, Columbus, Ohio. Y'all are my kind of people. And my kind of people, you know, uh, I'm for the South and in, in Oklahoma, but there's not a whole lot of difference in Southern people and Midwestern people. I promise you, not a whole lot of difference at all. So we had a great time uh, there. Thank you so very much. Those of you that come out and visited with me, it was so good to meet many of you that I've corresponded with through the comment section on our YouTube channels uh, over the last uh, three or four years. So uh, it was really nice to get to do that. Shake hands with many guys and. and and hug many girls. <laughs> That's right. In the South, we hug the girls. We hug the guys in the South too a lot. I did. I did some of that. Saw some friends that I don't get to see very often, and definitely, definitely to give them a hug there. That's for sure. But we had a great time up there. I uh, got up at 5:30 this morning and uh, uh, hopped a couple of airplanes. Uh, went through St. Louis and then down to Little Rock and picked my truck back up where I'd parked this big Ram there in uh, at the Little Rock Airport. Uh, hocked it out for about 25 bucks got, got got to get it out of the gate and headed down to mcgee 
Arkansas. McGee, yeah, that's right. That's down south of Little Rock. Uh, it's in the farm country down here around Dumas, and I've been through McGee, fished around McGee a lot. I fished a lot of these, they call them reservoirs down here. They call them rice paddy reservoirs. That's right. They're irrigation reservoirs to irrigate the rice fields. This is a big rice area down here. Big farming area, period. Uh, if you just look out the window, look around, uh, uh, you would just see water everywhere. You'd see uh, fields everywhere, big uh, implement tractor places everywhere. Just absolutely a, a great farming area. There's a tremendous amount of food grown down here in this area. And uh, from here on over Stuttgart and all that area in there, uh, they have these big rice paddy reservoirs and they may be 100 to 2 acres, 100 to 200 to 300 acres. And there, a lot of them are just kind of square and they got levees built all the way around and they're not very deep. They may be six or seven or eight feet uh, around the, uh, the levees all the way around the trenches that they, they dug out with a drag line. And then out in the middle of it might not be but three or four feet deep. And over the years, those things have become fishing factories, just full of bass and just tremendous bass fishing. And uh, I fished over here a lot with my, a buddy of mine lived over here named Delvin Mitchell. Delvin, Delvin Mitchell, everybody knew him as the Reservoir King. I mean, he had permission to, these are on private property, but these are the guys over here, these farmers, if you are nice to them and take care of their property and don't dirty or litter anything up, they'll let you come and fish in a lot of these reservoirs. I'm sure there's some you can't. Uh, but they'll let you fish a lot of them if you become friends with them. And Delvin knew just about everybody over here in this area. And Delvin Mitchell and I fished a lot of different rice paddy reservoirs over here and had some sensational, sensational fishing. Uh, you got the, uh, some rivers that run down through here and uh, the White River runs over here and not very far from the Mississippi. And uh, so you got a lot of oxbows that come off of them. You got uh, things that uh, tributaries and things that run in where you've got flooded timber great duck hunting obviously Stuttgart Arkansas is right down the road just a little bit but well, it's further east is what it is it's not any further south but it's a great area so I'm just saying uh, this we got a big event going to start down here they're cooking for over 400 people so if you're anywhere within an hour or two or three Little Rock is only about 100 miles away if you're only within an hour or two or three of McGee Arkansas We'll be at the First Baptist Church tonight. That event starts at six o'clock, which is, uh, well, from where I'm right now, it's only about three hours away. I'm only about 50 miles from McGee. First Baptist Church is a great church with great, great people in it. And uh, they're having a big, they call it a beast feast or a wild game dinner. So we're probably gonna eat some duck. Uh, I'm sure we'll eat some duck. I'm sure we'll eat some deer. A lot of big deer in this area. Uh, but you know, at these beast feasts, we end up eating bear and elk and and uh, antelope and, and rattlesnake and just about everything everything else uh, they've got some big rattlesnakes in this area not many they got a lot more cotton mouse they have a cotton mouse that hang around all this because of all this water and all these rice paddy reservoirs there's a, you know in, in our part of the country we in where i live there in southern oklahoma we have a lot of people that get bit by copperheads copperheads and uh they have some copperheads here as well but uh and we have a goodly a number of people in a year's time get beat by, get beaten by a rattlesnake. Far more copperheads, about six or eight or nine to one copperheads over rattlesnakes, which is good because it's not nearly as bad a bite, although it's still a really pretty bad snake bite. But uh, but cotton mouse over here, and the cotton mouse like to get around these rice paddies and the the uh, the valves and things, and so they they a lot of times when they move stuff and there's a cotton mouth there, and they're mean rascals. They're mean. They 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 are born with an attitude. They look at you like you owe them money, and uh, and they'll bite you. They'll bite you really, really quick. They will actually, if you fool with one a little bit out while you're fishing, he'll attack your boat. I mean, they don't really care. They don't really care. They're just a mean, mean snake, cotton mouse. I don't like cotton mouse at all. We pretty much keep the cotton mouse cleaned out at Twin Eagle Ranch. Uh, uh, they, we get a few, uh, one in there every now and then, but uh, he, uh, he gets uh, relocated to another territory another ranch that ranch is called cottonmouth heaven <laughs> cottonmouth heaven that's a great name of a ranch and that's where we re relocate the cottonmouths to that uh, get on get in our lakes down there and, and there was quite a few when we bought that thing you know it'd be almost 20 years ago uh april 3 and i don't know what we might do we might have a contest or something and take a couple two or three people fishing uh but april 3 i think or no no it was actually march 31 and then first day of april yeah so the, the fir first of april we will have had that ranch 20 years. That's amazing. That 20 years went by in a hurry, but it was uh, some of the very best days in my entire life. But every day is a great day for me. Every day is a great day for me. But Chris and I, uh, we have got our money's worth out of that ranch many, many times over, over those 20 years. And uh, 
we're enjoying it now uh, not quite as much as ever because I'm not getting to fish as much and my, my poor beautiful Chris is not getting to fish at all but she's going to be fishing pretty soon she's going to be out there I'm going to get her in the boat with me this year and take her out on the boat and messing around uh, even before she gets that right arm moving and, and she cuts my hair so I might not let her cut it I'm kind of liking it back there you know it's pretty long and I keep the front cut a little bit so I can see. I keep a little cut off the side so I can hear. And uh, I don't look backwards, so it doesn't really matter. You know, it doesn't really matter what's on back there. But uh, anyway, <laughs> it's getting so thin on the top. I'm glad I've got some somewhere. That's it. And it's getting so thin on the top. But we're going to have a great time here at McGeehee. Uh, I promise you the food will be good. I've been a Baptist pretty much all my life. I got saved when I was 12 years old in a Baptist church by a hellfire and brimstone preacher that... Uh, man just scared the scared the hell out of me and uh talking about hell and i'll be talking about that a little bit tonight down here at mcgee uh we'll be talking about fishing a little bit be talking about some of my favorite scriptures and and and, and giving some real life situations about how those scriptures have played in my life so if you're anywhere around within a couple two or three hours or of uh, mcgee arkansas you're going to meet some great people you're going to have a great meal i think everything's absolutely free uh, kind of a typical Baptist church, you know. Now, they may pass the offering plate, I gotta admit. That's a typical Baptist church, too, that pass the offering plate. But that's okay with me. I'll put something in there myself. But, uh, but anyway, we'll be down here at McGee tonight, so if you get a chance to come down here uh, tonight, come on down. Uh, I think next weekend, I believe we're over in uh, uh, Asheville, Alabama, uh, right just close by Birmingham for another big event over there. Be talking about that more as this coming week goes on. So uh, I get through here tonight. I don't know what time it'll be, 9 or 10 o'clock. I'm only about 300 miles from my daughter Sherry's house. So uh, I told my beautiful wife, Chris, that uh, somewhere along about 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, be a naked man crawling in bed with her. Don't get too excited. So guys and girls, if you get a chance to come down here tonight, come on down and visit with me. Uh, we'll have our books down here, by the way. We'll be able to personalize them for you. I've got a three or four or five cases in the back of this Ram truck. And uh, we'll be able to personalize the Catch a Better Life book for you. And uh, have a great church day tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday. I'm going to get back there and go to church at our, our Keys Baptist Church there. Uh, when I'm over there that weekend, I get to go to Keys Baptist Church where I used to be a deacon. And uh, when we're at the ranch, we go to Midway Hills Baptist where I am I'm still a deacon right now, even though I, I miss quite a few deacons meeting. They still allow me to, to, to be a deacon and help them whenever I can. So uh, y'all all have a great weekend. Have a great Sunday. We got beautiful weather coming in. Spring is peaking around the corner. I'll see you tonight at First Baptist Church. McGeehee, Arkansas, come on down. It's going to be a fantastic, fantastic evening. Remember, I sure do love you.